morning everybody i had a nice relaxing slow morning got up about 5 45 fed nadia got my bio reading in some planning um, got breakfast all done and spent time with my girls and now it is snowing and so we are excited for some snow today aren't we nevea um, and then I just thought I would bring you along today as we're just doing some homemaking. Maybe gonna do a few DIYs like a beeswax candle making. I gotta organize a drawer that is in the kitchen here and declutter it of Nevaehs a little bit. It's just kind of dirty and messy and decluttering season is just around the corner. But honestly, it's decluttering season all the time if you're like me, just continually taking things out of the home. But I thought you would enjoy coming along on this homemaking day it is friday so i always do my sourdough pizza so you'll be seeing that again which is seems like a common occurrence but it is just the day i sometimes pick to film so let's get started with some decluttering of this drawer so here's her drawer it just has some things from when she was younger some of her cups she does use now she uses this apron all the time but there's just some like bins and baskets and she doesn't use these at all anymore so i think and this is for canning but <laughs> something to play with so i think we're gonna just rearrange make it a little bit tidier and wipe it out Okay, that literally took five minutes. We're just gonna use this bowl for a few things that she currently uses. When Nadia starts eating more, we'll probably add some more, but we have some space back there. And then we'll just take these bowls downstairs, get rid of this, because those straws get so moldy. This is a never opened placemat thing, and take this back downstairs. So I always save these to use in other places if I need. So, so much nicer, and it only took five minutes to declutter that little bit. So I'm gonna wrap a gift here and I'm just gonna use this postal wrapping paper. I found it at a garage sale of all places. And then I'll probably use twine and these full eucalyptus leaves in there just to add um, a little plant life that's fake and then I've had these from the dollar store for a while so just a lot of different ways you can wrap presents and I love the brown paper and this is really thick so um, and you can use brown paper bags or something like that if you want that look as well Okay, so I changed <laughs> this eucalyptus actually smells good and then just put this little star here It looks maybe a little tacky at the end, but it's cute and um, I think the person will find it fun, too All right, it is lunchtime already. We're having leftover Chicken and just some roasted veggies. I had because I still have Butternut squash and carrots and onions and potatoes down in our basement So that is our lunch and Tubby's home for lunch as well, which is nice, and Vasey and hers. And we're getting a beautiful snow. Okay, 
Okay, so girls are down for a nap right now. So I'm gonna make my candles. I was trying to figure out a way to do a double broiler, but I have a old mason jar and then just some aluminum foil in there with the water. And I'm gonna do a pound of these. I just got them off of Amazon, so I'll link that for you. These are two pounds, so I'm gonna just dump half of that in. And you already saw me hot glue the wicks to the bottom of a few just random jars I had. So we're gonna take care of that right now. Okay, candles are done. They just have to sit now for like 12 hours. And I added some coconut oil in there to help it burn um, more evenly. So I'm excited to have these and I probably only used a fourth of my pellets for beeswax. And then this was such a good idea to put that aluminum foil underneath of my mason jar. And then I can just save this mason jar for the next time I wanna make candles because it is sure a pain to get beeswax out of a pot. So um, maybe you can make some of these sometime too. It was really fun and probably took about 20 minutes. Do we wish you Merry Christmas? Yep. Well, it is about 7.30 and it, the girls are down for bed and it is our Friday date night too. So we had supper, I finished cleaning up the kitchen and so my husband and I are gonna spend some quality time together because sometimes that is lacking during this holiday season. So I'm going to enjoy that time with our stay date and I just hope you enjoy coming along, seeing just our snowy at home day of homemaking and day of mothering so we're having a blessed and wonderful day talk with you in the next one